think we wanted to make sure that a visitor that came here felt something in an emotive way about that idea of the homeland and coming to a new place. The other is kind of the mythic landscapes that are common to uh, Pacific Northwest and the Nordic countries. So when you go to Mount Rainier and you go um, to the gorge, you go to the place in the Pacific Northwest, uh, there are these amazing landscapes. And the same is true for the Nordic countries. So we wanted to convey that in the fjord space without being too literal, that it's abstracted. But when you go in there, there's a certain feeling you have that you're in a special place. And it has a unique scale and a monumentality uh, that's outside of your daily life of being in Ballard or going to the store, that this, this is a unique place. And I'd say the third big feature was it had to be a community place. So that when you come into the entry, you felt welcomed. You felt like there was other things than just a conventional museum experience. There might be music, there might be wood carving, uh, there might be something to get at the shop, or you could stop and have coffee at the cafe. That it was a community resource for Ballard, but also for the people who had been volunteers and engaged with the museum since its inception.